Let's talk synergies in NHL 20. Brought to you by Popeyes. And Popeyes describes synergies perfectly because if you eat your spinach, that is, you activate your synergies, your players grow some muscle and begin to play better. So the first thing that I want to do is reveal all of the synergies for NHL 20 Hockey Ultimate Team. If you head on over to my team and then Synergy Glossary, you can see all the synergies currently in the game. I'm just going to quickly hover through them starting with the player synergies that have been added. For those of you unaware, the way that player synergies work is if you activate that synergy, only the players with that synergy get the boost. Whereas with team synergies, which is going to be the next tab over, if you activate that synergy, every player, regardless if they have that synergy, will get that boost. This year, I would say the synergies are pretty balanced, but stick around because I will share with you what I believe are the best and the worst synergies. Next, I'm going to introduce a few more basic concepts on synergies just so that everyone's on the same page. If you press up on the right stick on a card, you can view that player's synergies, which are the ones that we just talked about. Then if you push your right stick to the right while you're on your edit team, you can see all the different synergy points that you have in your team. As you can see, I have a lot of synergy points spread out between a lot of different synergies. I do have Workhorse Activate, however, which gives my players a plus two bonus to speed, balance, endurance, and durability. I'm also one point away from Wingman. If I go over to a card with the Workhorse Synergy, you can see that it's highlighted in green, which means that player has that synergy activated. You also have the little diamonds on the top right which show you how many synergies that player card has and if the synergies are activated. If you're looking for specific players with those synergies, you can go over to my collection or the auction house and sort by synergy to find players that fit your squad. The base bronze cards will have three synergy points, the silver cards two synergy points, and the gold cards one synergy point. Special edition cards or inform cards can have more than one. You can also autofill or update your lines automatically by pressing the left stick in on edit team and make it so that your lineup includes players with that synergy. An interesting tidbit that uh, is very different from last year, your base 80 plus overall skaters don't have any team synergies. They are strictly reserved for goalies unless you have special editions like the icons who will have a mix of synergies. I swear I'm not just searching by goalie, but I'm proving it by only looking at all of the forwards and picking a specific team synergy. So yeah, that makes building team synergies early on in the year pretty much close to impossible. So I would not worry about that despite what this tier list tells you. You can't go too wrong with activating any of these synergies unless it's the Magician synergy. You can also get coaches in the auction house that will give you additional team synergy points and I wouldn't worry about them at the start of the year. Your top tier synergy is going to be the X Factor synergy. It gives you a plus two boost in speed, agility, wrist shot power, and slap shot power. While it takes six points to activate, you certainly would benefit in having the synergy activated on pretty much everybody in your squad. It's the best synergy because each one of those attributes are important and can play a major factor in winning the game. Your second tier of synergies include two team synergies, which I told you not to worry about at the start of the year, and another player synergy, Thread the Needle. One-timer efficiency affects those attributes that attribute to your one-timer, that being hand-eye passing, offensive awareness, and slap shot power, and give them a plus three boost to that. Wrecking Crew affects your player's ability to dish out clean hits, to absorb hits, and also improves their skating. Whereas Thread the Needle improves your player's shooting accuracy, wrist shot accuracy, and slap shot accuracy, as well as their passing, giving a plus three boost to those stats. On to the OK tier, Sustain Pressure and Takeaway Kings are your team synergies, Do Your Deeks, and Wingman are your player synergies. These synergies, I guess I found that they were a bit situational. If your players need to be better at deking or stick handling, go with do your deeks. If your players need to be better at defense, taking away the puck or being in the right place, go with takeaway kings. 
Wingman is okay, just that's why it's in the okay tier, but I think Thread the Needle does it a little bit better, but instead it uh, subs out acceleration for slap shot accuracy. And then it also gives a plus three boost instead of a plus two boost. I didn't find anything particularly wrong with sustained pressure, I just found that the other two team synergies are better. Let's move on to the meh tier. With this tier, I found these synergies kind of had a lot of extra attributes, and those extra attributes brought these synergies down. For example, Hold the Blue Line gives you a boost in shot blocking, which is weird because I feel like Hold the Blue Line is more like an offense thing, and when it comes to offense, why would you be blocking shots? I don't know. Kind of weird. Then Breakout Master only affects two attributes. Makes it pretty weak compared to the other synergies. That Front Presence doesn't affect any of the major attributes such as skating or shooting. Workhorse only affects two relevant attributes. And Arm Day could be decent, but it's only a plus two boost in those stats. Don't get me wrong, if you have these synergies activated, they're nice, but I wouldn't go out of my way to activate those synergies. Finally, your bad tier. You should stay away from these guys because they're 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 bad. They're poo poo. They're like a Zach Ronaldo. Ugh. And coincidentally, Rock Solid and for the boys affect your Zach Ronaldos, whereas Magician is for your centerman taking faceoffs. And since it's a player synergy, I feel like it's just awkward because if your players with that synergy aren't taking the face-offs, it doesn't affect them, so it's essentially useless. Feel free to discuss synergies below in the comments, but that's all I have for this video, so I'll see you in the next one.